It says I'm live. Good morning, YouTube. It is Sunday the 3rd of March. March. Time is marching on, but untish. Sunday the 3rd of March. It is just before 11am. I am slightly out of breath. Are you there? This is your slightly late Sunday haul and chat. Hello, eight people. Uh, I'll say some hellos in the chat. Good morning to Carrie, Niall, Missy Moo, Louise McPhail, Tazzy, Jason Entwistle. Uh, Jason, you can watch all the way through this week. You don't need to turn away at any point. I did not buy any Harry Potter DVDs. Uh, T. Susan Davies, Claire Riley, Lil and Alf, Lolly Franz. Good morning. Ooh, how the devil are you all? Are you all well? Good morning, Karen. Hi, Richard. <laughs> he says, I caught you live. I'm normally still at the boot cell. It's a bit of a dreary old day today. I went to ours early and I was away early. I did see Gashead there, so if you watch this later, hi Gashead, nice to see you this morning. Um, uh, Sharon Harris, morning. Good morning, Joan. Joan says she got her Pepsi Max ready. I think I'll find that's my Pepsi Max. In the same, all the Reese's are mine, but I will let you have one. Good morning, Patricia and Carrie. Two Carries, we've got two Carries. I won't get one free on the Carries this morning. So yeah, small haul this morning. Now let me know. Oh, you know that? You know when you do that thing where you sit back on your chair and suddenly it drops three inches? Let's put that back up. <laughs> Let me know, is this lighting better or is this better? First or second? Let me know in the chat. Because it looks weird to me, but maybe it looks better to you. So first, which to me looks very dark, or second, which to me looks overblown. I don't seem to have a, a middle ground. Oh, Lord, now let's see. <laughs> <laughs> some people are saying first, some people are saying second. I should have. <laughs> I'll say some more hellos. Good morning, Andrea. Good morning, Lex. Good morning, Mags. Good morning, Shelley. Good morning, Laurel and Kath. Second, as long as I sit back. I can't sit back. It's a problem because I can't reach the mouse. Well, I suppose I could... Actually, the mouse is on a string in the usual way. The mouse is on a wire. So maybe if I did that, that might work. If I sit back here, that's better, is it? Why I don't go like that? Yeah. Okay. A second with sunglasses on. <laughs> I'm sorry if I've missed anyone. Hello to anyone I've missed, by the way. Hi, Lucy. Hi, Sue. Sue, uh, Sue says I'm a newbie and find you hilarious. Already? I'm already hilarious. <laughs> that's just my face. Sorry about that. Camera's making sausage sandwiches on my fault. Good morning, Fandria. Um, I don't think I missed anyone, but if I... Oh, good morning, Malcolm. Good morning, Kirsty Victoria Retro. Good morning, Anne Hamilton. And hello again to anyone I missed. It wasn't deliberate. It's just that when I wasn't looking, the chat flies past and then I miss things. Car boot. I was there by about 20 to 8 this morning. Thank you, Joan. Um, down, yeah, by about 20 to 8 and away again by just after 9. And that was after a very slow wander around. I was not feeling it today. I was very there. Uh, drag myself out of the house. Uh, you have to excuse, by the way, excuse the unmade bed. I don't know if you can see these two blobs here, Molly and Buddy. I was about to make the bed and they both got up and went to sleep. And I was like, okay, well, I won't make the bed then, bless them. So, yeah, they're, um, they're both flat out. Kai's at the top of the stairs. I think he's on guard. Good morning, Selena Scott. Ah, so he's been watching a few weeks. I'm not just hilarious already. Uh, good morning, Carmen. Uh, all of Carrie's car boots are cancelled due to the weather. It is rubbish weather, isn't it? So yeah, apologies. Apologies for the unmade bed. I do. I do normally make my bed, but um, but yeah, dogs. Dogs prevented making of beds. Molly's a sweetheart. Buddy's a sweetheart too. But Buddy's always asleep on the bed. This is new for Molly to be so crashed out. Uh, Malcolm says cancelled booty yesterday due to airport problems. Is it? Is it on the airfield? I'm, I'm not seeing the um. Surely they don't have it on the runway. Do you think that's not normal, is it? I know I know you're a bit different in the Isle of Wight, but surely car boot on the runway, a little bit dodgy. Um, Cancelled today due to bed. Bad weather, you're not having... Oh, it is on the airfield. Not on the runway. Just in a corner somewhere. They don't even let you wander around on our airfield. It must be very different in the Isle of Wight. Good morning, Laura Gale. Car boot cancelled in Cornwall as well. I'm lucky, as I've said a hundred million times before, so if you've watched my channel before, I'm sorry for the repetition, it's an indoor car boot, so it's on regardless of the weather. Yeah, Richard says boots are much smaller, but got them back before it rained. Good morning, Steve. Just popping in to say hello. Now I'm full time and a big deal. I don't have time for YouTube chats. <laughs> Charming. Thank you, Steve. Well, we, we appreciate that you graced us with your godlike presence for 30 seconds. <laughs> Good morning, Ads. 
Sue's got a mug, you know, Sue Parza Shame has got a mug that's, uh, that one of her family brought that says, I'm kind of a big deal on YouTube. I love that. I think that's brilliant. <laughs> so do you want to see what I got? There's nothing very, very thrilling. Thrilling? That's thrilling with a capital F. Nothing very thrilling. <laughs> I got two Emma Bridge water biscuit tins. They're in really nice condition. A couple of scratches on them, but then you expect that. And since I got two for £1.50, one does not grumble at that. I would expect to return in the region of £20 for those, perhaps more. I will probably sell them individually rather than as the pair. And inside the tins, I've just discovered, were two heart-shaped cookie cutters and two whatever the heck these are. I'm a, they're, they're for cheese, aren't they? They're cheese board, cheese board paddles and forky things, aren't they? I don't, they're not any particular brand. I think they were just inside the tin. But I think they're cheese things. Because he said, hi, little people. <laughs> Good morning, Andy Michelle. <laughs> and Karen's going to make bacon sandwiches for everyone, I think. Kath Palmer says it's brilliant sunshine here up north. Well, it's not meant to be. You're not meant to have good weather up there. Then that's not the rules. And Lex says, yes, these are for cheese or stabbing. So, you know, I shall probably use them for cheese or stabbing. Seems reasonable. Morning, Lady Ray. Carmen says, all right, Steve Attack King. <laughs> I've got two little dog coats. Good morning, Caroline, Mrs. M. Nice to see you, to see you nice. Two little dog coats. Now, these are tiny dogs. These are kind of like Jack Russell size, but they were two for 50p. And I have actually sold dog coats in the past. Quite so they're a nice tartan with another buckle. So they're a good quality coat. They are by Cozy, Cozy Pup or something like that. Cozy Pet. Made in England, size 12, which makes it easier to list them. I mean, I'm, I'm obviously not a 12. Not in dog coats or anything, but two of those, 50p each. I would anticipate... Probably maybe a tenner each on them, although that is a very much a guesstimate. The chair sunk again. I'm going to have to do this all the way <laughs> You know you're too fat when your gas lift chair won't lift. <laughs> Good morning, Chris B. When did you sneak in? Yes, Caroline wants some Carla shape. Not, not just my face. I don't think the whole shape of me. You can't make her Carla shapedness up in the so just be a figure of eight, but she'd have to have four boobs. No, I'm not going any further down that road. This, this is a dangerous conversation. Um, what else did I get? Now, this is all Bad Biscuit's fault. Lex Oliver, Bad Biscuit, this is all your fault and you know it. This cost me £3 in this delightful jewellery box. I don't, I don't even know where the jewellery box is from, but I did not buy it for the box. I bought it because it had content. So it's got a warning on the bottom. Probably warning, do not do not tip this upside down as well. Steve says, I now only watch Gary Vee and wear blazers. <laughs> right. So it is a box full of assorted costume jewellery and by God, some of it's fugly. So uh, we've got, and it's a little bit tangled. It wasn't tangled earlier on. I've managed to tangle it since I bought it. That's a special talent. Since I bought it, I fucked it up. This is a horrible necklace. It's a horrible necklace on the floor now. It's it literally, I told you I'm a bit in there today. I'm not coping. Oh, actually dropping it on the floor as I've tangled it. Horrible necklace, proper nasty. It's even got some nasty bits missing of the nastiness. Proper vile. And it's got one of those lobster clasps. So Lex says that's modern then. That's like modern tat if it's got a lobster clasp. So I do listen to her. Speaking of vile. God, who designed this grim stuff? I'd, I'd, I look at some things and I think the designer of this sat in their office and went, what can I get away with? And they must say to themselves, no, I can't get away with that. Surely they won't fall for that. And then when somebody goes, yes, I'll commission 20 of those, they must laugh themselves all the way to the back. I can't untangle this. That bit's meant to be fastened on there somewhere else. It's a horrible, horrible choker anyway. And it's probably a bit broken. It's got free hair. Hmm. That's delightful, isn't it? That's a lovely thing. Have I missed anything? I did not see your fool's gold you saw, Karen. I'll have to go and look at that. Is that in one of your latest videos? I'm so behind on my YouTube viewing. However, they've just turned off the Netflix because Natalie's payment bank, so I'll be able to catch up on some YouTube now. <laughs> well, we sort that out. Hi, Adendry. Yes, Molly is flat out. Oh, she's just turned around. But, but yeah, she's she wants to cuddle Buddy. You can, can you see? She's turned around slightly. 
what she knows I'm talking about. She turned around slightly and she's crept closer to Buddy because what she wants to do is cuddle up to him. He will not allow it. He will not allow her to cuddle him. He doesn't want to fucking know. <laughs> but you keep creeping up to him, don't you? So try and cuddle him. Yes, you do. Yeah, I know. Are you a beautiful girl? Are you? You're a beautiful girl. Yes, you are. Come and see the people. She doesn't like the light over the desk, I've discovered. That's what, whenever I get her over here, she turns and looks the other way. She doesn't like the light over the desk. It's too bright. Too, too bright. Um, this is a white stuff necklace. This will probably go for a tenner, actually. So, you know, there's money in there. Isn't it horrible, though? Isn't that horrible? Horrible, horrible thing. Hi, Lisa. And another horrible necklace. It's very me, actually. Maybe I should start wearing horrible necklaces. Horrible bracelet. Horrible necklace to go with horrible bracelet. There we go, horrible matching set. Another horrible bracelet. There's some vile stuff in there. I, think, I can't find the most hor horrific one. I'll, I'll drag it out in a second. But it's all costume. It's all modern. There's nothing vintage here. There's nothing worth having. It's all lobster clasps and all nastiness. It was three quid, and that was included in the jewellery box. So it seems silly not to. Look at that monstrosity. Awful stuff. Okay, thank you, uh, thank you, Lex. That was um, tempting, I have to say. <laughs> thank you very much, Mandy, for the... Um, I always want to say... Um, I always want to say Snapchat, and it's not, it's Super Chat. My brain goes Snapchat, Snapchat. It's not, it's Super Chat. Thank you, Mandy, for the lovely Super Chat. That's very kind of you. Good morning, Christine Davis. <laughs> In the same breath, somebody offered me something vile and somebody offered me breakfast. Hi, Heather. <laughs> Caroline, who is also a mod, says the hidden comment just made me spit out my tea. He didn't want anyone to spit, Caroline. Did you not read it properly? <laughs> Kath Palmer says, I'll catch up later. I've got to go to the park with grandchildren and the dogs, little and large, two greyhounds and two sausage dogs. Bless them. <laughs> I got a peacock print bangle in there. I think that's that's relatively pleasant, but I must have massive hands because, look, that's not going on. Massive man hands. Max says, are oh, you going to put horrible in the title? I'm going to put fugly in all the titles. The keyword is fugly for all of them. Courtesy of Becca Bamba this morning when I shared this somewhere else and she was like, oh, yeah, that's fugly. I've got a revolting necklace. Revoltingly tangled as well. Kind of chunky, beady, hoopy, numbery thing. Uh, Carol says she likes the white stuff necklace. I should I feel bad now for saying it was horror. It's just not my taste. But there we go. That's that's the white stuff one, and that's brand new on its white stuff card. But it's still got its label, so nobody's had it hanging around their uh, hanging around their neck. But yeah, that's that one. And I don't know if this one's white stuff. Well, this one looks kind of the same kind of thing. Like, like I got a Bowden necklace that was similar to that. So don't know. Don't know. <laughs> Now Jay says, revolting, nice sales technique there. It's me all over. <laughs> Flipping bunny, good morning. Larg and look necklace, yeah. Um, what else have I got in here? The most itties pair of earrings I've ever seen. I'm pretty sure I had a pair of these in the 80s. They've got a bit tangled there with. There. Look at those, aren't they 80s? They might actually be genuine 80s or they might be modern repro, whatever the term is. Another, some more dangly, some entire box full of dangly bits, and if that doesn't bring the trolls out, I don't know what will. They look a bit American Indian styley, don't they? Kind of tribally natively, kind of. Yeah, the keywords are coming thick and fast now. Tribally natively. Uh, there's another earring like that somewhere, I think. I can't remember if I got one of these earrings. I'm sure I had two earlier. Oh, there it is. Hoopy necklace with matching hoopy earrings. Quite a lot for three quid, really. It's just that it's not my bag. It's not my usual stuff at all. But I looked at it and I thought Lex would buy that for three quid. Lex would go, yay, three quid, we'll have that. So, bracelet. And then plainly, a solid gold ring with a massive ruby in it plainly i mean obviously all solid gold rings are um not fastened together at the back so that you can make them larger for your fat fingers that's obviously how they make so god the chair has gone again <laughs> 
need a new chair. So yeah, there we go. Do you like my ring? Massive red stone ring in plainly a, a 92 carat solid gold setting. There we go. And that's it. But yeah, three quid for the, all of that and the box. Oh, no, 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 no. There's also a Reese's wrapper and it wasn't even mine. Warning, product made of glass. Handle with care to avoid damage or injury. Keep out of children's reach. Keep item in dry and do not leave in damp atmosphere such as bathrooms. Wipe clean with damp cloth. Dry. This is very dull. I don't worry that out. Good morning, DBG. Yeah, three quid. Three quid for all of the above. All of the below. All of this tat. Oh, and three bangles. I didn't show you the bangles. Actually, that one looks like it might be. Oh, no, it isn't. It isn't. It doesn't. It looked like, looked like it might be, but it wasn't. So there we go. That was three quid. I'm just rambling on. I stopped reading the chat. I stopped doing anything. Carries off to strip wallpaper. Somebody's come and strip wall my wallpaper. Chrissy says that make my finger go green. <laughs> Adam D'Souza says those earrings are very pretty, but I don't know which earrings you were referring to, Adam D'Souza. Some, like I said, some of it's not bad, but some of it's pretty awful. The, I mean, the necklace that Caroline liked was lovely, and I wish I hadn't said it wasn't now. <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, for three quid. For three quid. Why wouldn't you? That's my stock phrase, isn't it? Why wouldn't you? That's a delight, isn't it? That's an absolute delight. There we go. That'll keep me busy. Heather says, I've got somebody who might rent me their garage. I don't know what's a reasonable rent, though. Um, I think it would depend, A, on the size of the garage, B, on how much garage is normally rent for in your area, C, whether it's dry and all the rest of it, D, how far it is from your home. All the, all, yeah. Quite a lot of um, factors that I would consider. I decided that I was willing to pay 50 quid a week to store my stuff outside of my home. And for a while, it looked like I wasn't going to be able to get anything in for 50 quid for 50 quid a week that was going to be sizable enough. And then I was very lucky with the room I got. So um, the, I think for me, it was I worked on what I could afford rather than what was out there, if you see what I mean, and then and then went, went, at, went at it that way around. Karen says, can you mention the Northeast Meetup, Carlo? It is in West Jesmond. There is a Northeast Meetup. It's in West Jesmond. It is at a pub. I do not know where. I do not know when. Karen, if you give me some more information, I will mention it better. <laughs> Happy to mention, but don't actually know all the detail. I just know that I can't go because it's a very long way away. I got this. This is this is 50p, and I've never seen this. This is Scrabble Twists and Turns. Look at it completely as a sword. They're anything from three quid to 15 quid. But this is brand new and sealed, which I thought was nice. And unless it, I'm tempted to open it and play it, but then it won't be brand new and sealed anymore. So that would be a bit of a waste. Yeah, I've never seen Scrabble Twists and Turns. It says Scrabble Twists and Turns takes you off the word game grid, spell backwards, up, down, any which way but wrong. No points to keep track of means that any word might win you the game. Action to help as you try to be the first to get rid of all your tiles to win. Completely different to Ordinary Scramble then, but it was new and sealed and I'm, I'm going to put it on for 15 quid and, and leave it there. Hopefully it'll sell at Christmas, eh? Now this is a little £2 collection, so I'm going to put them on one side until I know I've got them all out of the, all out of the bag. That one was uh, a pound, I think. Yeah. I've, I've already got the Tigger one. So this is just a piglet. The light is terrible, isn't it? Can I get closer? Can I closer better? Turn the light off? I don't know. Cannot show you this well. It is a piglet ice cream uh, Sunday cup. And I think I paid a pound. Good morning, Welsh Wonder. Adam says he loves the British accent. This is a Bristol accent. It's not just British. It's a Bristol I should try and do received pronunciation and not sound like I'm from Bristol. And then you would think this is, no, I, I think I've gone South African. I don't do accents. As anyone who heard me trying to do Ireland the other day will testify. That's a bit of a two quid bundle. I'm nearly at the end of this already. This, uh, this bundle next is £12. £12. Pounds, and I regret it for me. I regret it deeply, and yet it probably is worth £12, but I'm just annoyed by it. So for my £12, I have a Harris, Tree, Harris Tweed vintage jacket made by Hepworths. It smells very vintage. Oh. Oh, dear. Yeah. 
very very vintage smell to that that'll need quite considerable airing but yeah harris tweed vintage jacket a little bit damp because it was raining by the time i got that i'm annoyed by these these are shelly's fault shelly um shelster and ebay queen these are yours fault these are 100 percent lambs wool they are vintage St. Michael 100% lambs wool cardigans. They've plainly never been worn. They're in immaculate condition, except for the holes, which I think are moth holes. And I did not notice them at the time, for I would not have picked them up. So it might, it might, it might, it might be just where he's not looked after it. So there's a hole in that one there. And then this one, same again, vintage St. Michael 100% lambs wool, blah, blah, blah. Uh, pure new wool, St. Michael vintage. Knacky great hole in the front there that doesn't look like a moth hole that looks to me as though we've caught it in something maybe when he's chucking it in and out of his van so i could repair it but i won't repair it just annoying just annoying <laughs> malcolm says he likes the way i sniff it and then go ew and then go back for seven second sniffs if it would have changed can't help being stupid malcolm <laughs> and chelsea really says oh yeah i'm so sorry about that you don't sound sorry <laughs> My front room does not still smell of orange gadget geek, but the Hoover smells nice. Molly's asleep. Well, she's going to sleep. Also in with the 12 quid, two pairs of crag hoppers trousers. I don't usually bother buying crag hoppers because no matter how much people rant on about how wonderful they are, every time I've bought it, it's been very sticky. And I don't mean sticky as in even that's sticky. I mean sticky as in I can't sell it. But maybe this time will be different, eh? Maybe maybe so another pair of crag hoppers trousers so two pairs of those in for 12 and then all of these ties in for the 12 so it's not that it's not a good 12 pound bundle i'm just annoyed that the two bits that i was quite pleased about which was the cardigans are actually not that great just annoyed by that so these this is a bundle of vintage ties and they are very vintage i mean look at this that's a kipper tie can you see the width of that that's really really wide Proper, proper kipper tie. In fact, I think that's a cravat, actually. There, I'm talking out of my arse. Don't listen to Carla. She doesn't know what she's talking about. That's a cravat. I just realised it's pointed at the other end as well. Still vintage, though. Printed in Italy. Washable. Cravat. So that's that one. And then these, I hope, are all ties now. But they're all very vintage, all the same. So this is Viola Michelson's of England. You can tell by the size, again, by the size of the pointed end, although I don't know if pointed end has a technical term in Thailand. Thailand. But they're all, this is, this says Yves Saint Laurent. That says Yves Saint Laurent cravats. Can anybody see that? Can you make that out? Is that focusing? It says Yves Saint Laurent cravat. Thank you, Patricia. I thought that. I thought as it was New Zealand, it'd be good. Um, I would say that's vintage. It's definitely a tie, not a cravat, despite the fact that it says cravats, but maybe they just call them cravat. Yeah, they go for a cravat. It's French for tie. Thank you, Heather. It's good that people know stuff because I really don't. I don't know, Mags. That's worth thinking about. Yeah. So I don't know if that's because it's Yves Saint Laurent. Maybe, that, maybe that one's worth millions of pounds. Um, this one is Burton menswear. That one's not quite as vintage, but it's still quite a wide one. Some of these are such vintage patterns. Look at this. Um, that is super bra, super bar, superba, superba fashions, and the label's a bit damaged. Super bar, superba, seventies. Uh, again, another very seventies kind of pattern. That one's got no label at all. This one says Leonard Lyle of London, and that one looks a little bit more 80s to me. That's a bit more Gordon Gecko, that one, I would have thought. I suppose I should sell them singly, but oh, God, you know I won't, don't you? You know I'll end up putting them on as a bundle. Hi, Darren. Um, Corrie's Polyester by Linosair, made in England. Nothing's made in England anymore, is it? Uh, so, yeah, lots of different ones. I'll end up bundling them. Austin Reed. Austin Reed of Regent Street Polyester. All cotton made in England and a number on it, but no actual maker's name on that one. But again, look at that. That's plainly 70s, isn't it? No maker's name on this one. Nothing at all on that one. No labels. 
That looks like my old school tie. Casa Algar Faro, 100% polyester, but that very much looks like an old school tie to me, that one. And that one looks exactly like my old school tie. That could even be the same. This is Rivets of London, all silk. Well, Rivets of Boston, all silk made in the USA. So, silk tie. And then there's a tweed tie, which has no label on it. But a, a knit tweed tie. I don't know anything about ties. I just thought, oh, look, we'll have them as well. Miller, Rayner and Haysom Limited, London, Liverpool and Southampton. Made, from, made entirely from terraline. So there we go. A bundle of ties, a Harris tweed jacket, two pairs of crag office trousers and two buggered cardigans. 12 quid the lot. It's, it's not a bad bundle, is it, really? I just don't like it. I don't know why I buy this stuff that I don't like. Cara says, unusual stuff this week. I think I was scraping the barrel a bit this week, Cara and Cara, and buying stuff I wouldn't normally buy because there wasn't a lot of stuff that I would normally buy. And also because... I'm feeling a bit crisis of confidence with all the stuff that I've got because my sales are very low. I'm looking at all my stock and going, OK, I don't know how to be a reseller. I'm bad at it. All this stuff is rubbish. I should buy different things. You know, proper crisis of confidence. Clipping, flip, oh, sorry, Flipping Bunny's talking to Carl. Yeah, Lex says, I think you've done well for the stuff. I would have bought all of that. Well, even the, even the jumpers with the holes in, or are they just the only mistake out of the bunch? Should have looked more closely, really. And then this little pile of stuff here was two quid, and that's it. So all this is is a Russ comforter, a potato ricer. It is actually brand new and unused, although it's looking a bit tight where it's been kicked around the car boot. The ricing disc is sealed in its packet. Um, it doesn't seem to be a brand on it, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to list it anyway because I love my potato rice. So if you don't have good looking honky, says Carla, Peter North here from America, old porn star, great speed, stream honey buns. Well, they, 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 hello and goodbye, old porn star. Peter North, I feel like I've heard of Peter North in my, um, my travels around the internet. <laughs> I don't know, anyway. I'll probably list them and, and maybe they will. Maybe they will. Lisa says, I've got an unrelated question. Is there anyone in the reseller community in Bonnie, Scotland? Definitely there are. I think Kath's in Scotland for starters. Kath Palmer, she was here earlier. She's gone out with her dogs now. Um, Derek Payne is in Scotland. I'm sure there are others as well, and I'm just not thinking of their names off the top of my head. But yeah, potato rice fiber list. If you don't have a potato rice, by the way, you should get one. Not necessarily from me, but from somewhere, because they make the best mashed potato ever. Also, with the two quid then was an Angel Oracle cards and book set. Um, I haven't shifted the last ones I've sold, last ones I bought, but I thought I'd chuck them in anyway since they were going in for two quid. Special 25th anniversary expanded edition. And a little handful of children's cutlery. Um, quite why I bought this, I don't know. I didn't know the last children's cutlery I bought, but it was more interesting than this. But this is a little Thomas set and a pink and yellow set. And I really don't know what, like I said, I was not feeling it this morning. Shell Strooney says, let me know if you managed to sell the Holy Lamb's wool as I was about to bin my Holy John smugly. Oh, I'll do. I'll like to might list it and just somebody might buy it. Lady Ray says, me and Carmen are right at the top of England. Sometimes people ask if I'm Scottish. Um, how's February treated? You rubbish, Mandy. Thank you for asking, Mandy Michelle. <laughs> Absolutely rubbish, February. Terrible sales. Two of the worst weeks that I've had. The last two weeks of February are the two worst weeks that I've had since I went full time. And so far, March is not looking any better. I may have to actually get an actual job. So, absolutely shocking. I plainly don't know anything about how to be a reseller. If you're watching this live stream thinking, I'll watch the reseller and she'll tell me how to do it, you are in the wrong place. I don't know how to do it. I'm not making any money this week. Next week will be better or worse or about the same as the optician is saying. I don't know. It'll be fine. It's always fine in the end. You know what they say? It'll be all right in the end. If it's not all right yet, it's not the end. So um, I've got 93 people watching, but there's definitely not 93 people in the chat unless you're all just sitting there very, very quietly. Self-employed dreamer is in Scotland. That's Donna. I see lots of people in Scotland. Um, no, Carmen, they have. Well, having said that, numbers of sales have picked up. I had like eight sales yesterday, which is fantastic, isn't it? Except the eight sales in total came to under 40 quid. Literally, it's like somebody went through my shop and went, well, she got this really, really cheap. And just, yeah, I, I, I sold stuff yesterday that I've got at, 
absolutely knocked down prices. Stuff that I've had for a long time and that I ought to be glad to see the back of, but it would have been nice to have some decent sales to go with it because it, it just now it looks like a lot of packaging for no money. Like, you know, a lot of work for no money. Meh. Grumble, grumble, groan. Yes, Mandy says, you know how this game goes. Exactly. Yeah, it'll, it'll be fine. It'll be all right. It's just not all right right now. It'll be fine. So... There are several reseller meetups going on. There is the one that Karen's organising in Newcastle or near Newcastle. And if she did put more detail in, I missed it. So stick it in again, Karen. There is one that Peter Ray is organising in Epsom. That's the something of March. Um, and then there's one that Caroline and I are um, ha 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 organising. No organisation involved at all. And that is on the 27th of April uh, at the Shield Retail Park Rose Fair in Bristol. And we're going to be there around from sort of lunchtime. I was about two o'clock, but we're around from lunchtime onwards. And I know some of you are coming down for that. I'm very excited to see everybody's coming down. If you are coming down, do let me know so that we know to look out for you. And, and if you get stuck, then give me a shout and, uh, you know, if you need directions or whatever. There is a premiere in right next door, but there is also a brand new travel lodge down the road. And across the road from the travel lodge is a brand new something called a village hotel, which we've never had. It's massive. It looks nothing like a village. You imagine a village hotel. You think of a little country pub, don't you? With that? It looks nothing like a fucking village hotel. It's enormous. Um, but yes, yeah, so there are plenty of hotels in the area, varying prices. Um, and yeah, well, I'm looking forward to seeing you all. There's a, there's a Holiday Inn down the road as well and a Holiday Inn Express a bit further up. There's lots of lots of hotels, really not very far away. So um, yeah, so do come if you can make it. Carmen says the um, up north one is the Lonsdale Hotel opposite West Jesmond Metro, Thursday the 14th of March at 1.30 p.m. So if you want to go and meet Carmen... You will remember that if you're going to see Karen, you have to say, I don't know who you are because because she expects everyone to know who she is. Steve says, I'm organising one in Wolverhampton and I'll be heartbroken if everybody doesn't turn up. If you are genuinely are organising one, Steve, then I will be there and I will certainly carry Lex along with me, whether she likes it or not. But if that's not a genuine thing, then, then don't lie. But hopefully you're going to come down to Bristol, Steve, because I can't think of any reason why not. It's only down the road from you. Peter Ray's in. Peter, I was just mentioning that you're having a meetup in Epsom and that I knew it was in March, but I couldn't remember the date off my top of my head. So um, do plug that in the side chat, Peter, and hopefully people will be able to come along to yours as well. It's nice for everybody to get together and have a little bit of a chin wag with like minded folk who don't go ah, when you show them your Harris tweed jacket. <laughs> so has anybody got anything exciting planned for the rest of Sunday? I'm going to Costco. Um, I've discovered that there is very little dog food in the house and almost no cat food. And since I don't want my pets to eat me, I'm going to Costco. Bristol is possibly further than Hitchin, but I'm sure it's one straight train, Steve, and there's no excuse. Get on a train and come down, mate. Um, yeah, no excuse whatsoever, mate. Just get on a train. Uh, have I missed anyone coming in? I'm sorry if anybody's come in and I haven't said hello, by the way. It's not deliberate. It's just that the, um, just that the chat sometimes gets away from me. I get lost in my babbling and the chat escapes Lex says he doesn't want to come why doesn't he want to come he thinks he's too good for us all now that he's full time you see Lisa's buying a new oh here Lisa's buying a new bin today now that is rock and roll Lisa that is a rock and roll lifestyle if ever I saw one Donna's listing might mad Karen's going to get over 100 listings today uh Steve says, I'm in Wales the week before, getting back on the Friday. Well, just don't go back, you dingbat. Just stop here on the way past and have an extra extra night here. I'm not seeing an issue. Really not seeing an issue. Come on, pull your finger out, mate. Uh, Lainey Ray's distracting herself from sitting on the concrete mattress. Lainey Ray normally has an air airflow mattress and hasn't got one at the moment for some reason, so she's not sleeping very well. Sorry about that, Lainey. Um... Little Nav says, Costco is dangerous. You go in for one thing, I come out with a dozen other stuff. Not today, I don't, because I'm skint. <laughs> so here it says, bins are super cool. I need one, but keep using a black sack instead. Shelstrin is clearing a lot of sticky crap from her garage. I presume she means stock, not just actual, you know, sticky stuff. Uh, Mandy's food shopping. She's done 25 listings, then she's doing nothing. 25 listings a day is a good target. I'm, I'm happy if I make 10. Um, I don't think there's a lot else going on. Look, everybody's having a quiet day. Carrie says, our son is 18 this month. I'm just printing in very embarrassing photos off to make an album. <laughs> oh, Peter says, the Epsom meetup 
is the 23rd of March at the Faraday pub. All details are on the tap chat under events. So that's the Faraday pub in Epsom, 23rd of March, if you want to go to the middle of the country meetup. I, I suppose Essex is the middle of the country a bit, isn't it? Shasta only just got zapped by my uh, my filter because she used a swear word, but sorry, we've let it through anyway. Lisa says, little Molly looks adorable. Can you see her? Look, flat out. Rubles, they're talking about rubles. Yes, they are. You've got big ears. What are you doing with all them ears? Hey, it's huge. You pretty girl. She's a very good girl, actually, for a puppy her age. She is a pretty good girl. Right there. Bear in mind, she's four and a half months. Four and a half months. She's not bad, are you, really? Lots of energy. Far more energy than me. Steve says, I'd say the Midlands was the middle, hence the name. Yeah, well, I don't do geography. <laughs> Ollie Francis having a quiet day. Joshua's in. Hi, Joshua. Oh, dear. Here you go. Peter Ray says, I'm going to re-photograph my ties, list bits, and watch YouTube. You just missed me showing a load of ties, Peter. I think I finished the ties before you came in. Lots of vintage ties, which I don't care about. Uh, Lil and Alf says, that must be a work as it seems very quiet. And that is not at work because Nat is currently not in work. She um, got a new job in January and has not yet been given a bloody start date. And we are now in March and they've messed around. They've lost her references twice. So she is currently out of work and waiting for this new job to sort life out. So, But she has actually gone swimming with um, a friend and, and a friend's kids or whatever. So... Um, so it is very quiet here. Anthony's in his room. He was drilling a minute ago, but he stopped now, so I don't know why he was drilling. I'm just trying to hide some chins. I don't know why I'm bothering you. all know I've got 18 chins. Why am I bothering trying to hide them? I'll just sit like this. There. There, now I look like I've got a strange pointy face, but no additional chins. Can I get some of those, some of those clips? Pull it all up and pin it behind. That's what they do with the face. They pull it all up and pin it behind your ears, don't they? And then I look like that. Yeah. Welcome, Stu. <laughs> Stu Man, who just wandered in. I'm sure he's gone, what the hell is she doing? <laughs> Lolly Fratz says, I've got 19 gins, so there. <laughs> no, there is no, there is, there's only a basic filth filter, and you still managed to bypass it because we just let it through. Um, Nat would not have a go at reselling. It's her idea of hell. She hates the charity shop. She hates the car boot sales. She hates me taking her into the office and making her help me with photographs and things like that. She hates every every possible aspect of it. She loathes it all. So, uh, yeah. No, reselling not her bag. Although she may get to a point where she's so desperate for money that she resells her own stuff, at least. My hair is a state today. It's not a good hair disc because I got caught in the rain and it all went zzz. Have I had my roof? My roof is now done. Sorry, I've got, I'm going to burp in a minute because I've drunk too much Pepsi Max. And the money does provide bacon. She's very short of bacon at the moment because she's not out, and she's out of work and I refuse to buy her bacon because we're poor. Um, yeah, sorry, Adendri, the roof is done. They have finished the roof. They've got to come on Tuesday and check my flu, which sounds very glamorous. But basically, apparently I have a bent flu to my boiler and they were worried that during the roof process they might damage it because it's an odd angle. So they're going to come out and check that they haven't damaged that on Tuesday and then I guess it gets signed off and they take the scaffolding away after that. So yeah, the roof is the roof is done, and the loft is now going to be um, storage of family junk and un, unlisted stock. But the idea is not to have too much unlisted stock, although the the sacks of clothing have got a bit out of control at the moment because I'm not listing fast enough. I'm just not listing fast enough. I'm getting back onto it now. Now that now that um, Molly is a little bit older, she can be trusted to come upstairs and do that. I can sit here and list a bit more. Whereas before, any time she came upstairs, I was spending the entire time stopping her from chewing things, destroying things. So it's getting a bit easier. Lisa says, my mum usually hated charity shops and goes off wandering when I go in one. Then I got a Diane von Furstenberg coat the other day. She's done a 180 degree. <laughs> I bet she has if you've got a DVF coat. How much did you pay for that? Susan Norman says, I went to a car boot. Only two sellers there, so I bought my first Reese's bar on the way home. Reese's are mine. Nobody else is. I, I, I'm torn. Because part of me says nobody else in the entire world should buy any Reese's ever and then they'd all be for mine. But the logical side of my brain says if nobody else ever buys any, they'll go out of production and then you won't be able to get any. 
So I'm very much torn between hoping other people enjoy them and wishing other people wouldn't eat them. Don't quite know where I stand on it. Four ninety nine for a DVF coat. That's a win. Zaheer says, sorry, Carlo, I'm also a purchaser of Reese's. I, I don't know whether to be pleased or not whether people like them. Like, I'm astonished when people don't. Yes, yes, Karin, I do want that, yes. Peter May says, my car boot's still not got a start date yet. I've got a jumble set next Saturday. That sounds exciting. And Death Buggler says, I don't like Reese's, so you're grand. <laughs> All the Reese's for me. All of them. <laughs> So, yeah, small haul again. Not excited about anything. Pleased with the Emma Bridgewater tins, but I'm not excited about anything today. I'm not excited about anything today. Not just what I've bought, but gradually anything. I'm like, Ugh. People should buy Reese's and send them to me. That's, that's the answer, Lil and Alf. If everybody in the world buys loads and loads of Reese's, then they'll keep on making Reese's because there'll be a demand. But if you send them all to me, then I won't have to share. That's the answer. Da -da -da. <laughs> Karen says, how are you getting on with the clothes sacks? Well, this may not look like progress, but I have cleared four or five sacks out of that cupboard and then moved some up from underneath. So I did make progress. I've listed four or five sacks this last week or so. Each sack has 10 items. Not the sacks. I don't, I don't have 10 items when I buy them, but each of these bags has 10 items because I bagged them into 10s because I find 10 a dealable quantity. I go, I'll just do 10 and then I'll forget and then I'll forget about it for a bit. But there are five unsorted sacks in the loft and two under the bed. So I'm, although I've made progress... I still have more to do. And Max says, yeah, it's difficult to list when you don't like what you've bought. Exactly. I know, I know it's got money, but I don't like any of it. Uh, I don't like any of it. Lainey says, have you tried the Hagen Dazs Peanut brittle, brittle Crunch Ice Cream Lolly? They're amazing. Tastes like Reese's. Oh, I'll have to try those. And Lisa suggests that I should bulk buy Reese's in Costco. That would be exciting. They're more expensive, in, pardon me, more expensive in Costco than they are in Home Bargains. Joan says, what are Reese's? Am I an old fart? Reese's are, um, they're American candy. They're peanut butter, peanut butter um, products, basically. Chocolate bars and peanut butter Christmas trees and, and Easter eggs. and Yeah, chocolate coated peanut butter fun, basically. <laughs> yeah, home bargains rock. I think I'm getting bunged up. But maybe that's why I feel nervous as well, because I feel a bit bleh. A bit bungy nose and not very cheerful. Should we sit here and feel sorry for ourselves together? I also want to decorate this room, but not today because I can't bother. But I'm bored of these colours. I've had these colours a long time. This wall is tatty now. Where the unit was taken down, it's left um there's like a mark from behind where the shelf were that I forgot about and put a unit in front of and it all needs doing. And it's just such a major job. And I'm like, I want to wave a magic wand and have it done. Uh, uh, uh. Carmen says, as you know, Carlo, I'm all congested. Thanks for not shouting. <laughs> Hi, Kirsten. I don't know what colour, Heather. Possibly a kind of a duck egg blue. Possibly. Just because I want some of this complete contrast from what I've got here. Christine says, put some of your favourite music on. I only really listen to music in the car. I don't really listen to music in the house. I don't even have a stereo in the house. If I had music on the house, it has to go on the telly or whatever. Or on the computer because I don't have a... Don't have a stereo, don't have an Alexa, don't have anything that plays music, don't have any speakers. Somebody said very true smart selling, but I can't see what smart selling said. Oh, you'll like them a lot more when they sell, yeah. <laughs> and Fandry says, remember dippy nips, that does make me smile. <laughs> Steen is dippy nips. The only way says mine needs doing too. In fact, the whole house does. If you find that magic wand at the car boot, wave it this way too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This room needs to be lighter, little enough. It also needs to be tidier, is another thing. I'm surrounded by. You see the shelves above here? See those shelves up there on the wall just above my finger? It's just, just covered in stuff that I never touch, never move, and they're covered in dust. I don't even want to own it anymore. It's got to go. Anthony's hammering now. What are you hammering, love? Meccano. Anthony's playing with Meccano. Building stuff. It's 28. It's perfectly reasonable. <laughs> List it. It's not even worth selling. Or I suppose there's Yankee candles up there that I suppose I could sell, but they are partially burned. But people, people buy part burned candles. They've had the lids on ever since. Then, so they, they should be, they shouldn't have lost their, their, shouldn't have lost their what's it. What is it they lose? 
their aroma, their fragrance. Fragrance, that's what I wanted. Gift them to Caroline. Caroline doesn't need any more candles. I know people buy empty jars, that's true. Peter Ray says, any vids this week, Carl, if not said already? Um, coming out from me or any that I recommend for other people to watch? Sorry, Peter, I'm not feeling very um, very greeny. Um, no, I did, I did my live with Lex on Monday or whenever it was. I think it was Monday we did that. And then a brief live with Caroline. And I was going to do a vlog and then I decided I'm a boring cow and I don't do anything. I might do a vlog, vlog next week. That might be interesting. Although I'm not doing everything very much. Bye, Carrie. But yeah, I might do a basic vlog. Um, and I've got to do my bullet journal video. That's got to come out at some point. This bit of hair is really annoying me. What do I think it's doing? It's got its own life. But yes, yeah, so I've got to do my bullet journal video at some point, which a lot of you aren't remotely interested in. But yeah, I might do a vlog. It's just remembering to film, isn't it? That's the thing. Lil Laugh says, my mum wants to adopt Lex. She thinks Lex is so funny. Lex is absolutely fabulous. Lex is such a stunner. I love Lex. Lex, I love you. There you go. Lex is great. Nobody can adopt Lex. She is mine or mine. We were very disappointed. She only stayed two days. We wanted her to stay forever. And she went home on the, on the third day, possibly because despite the fact that we really like Lex, she might have been sick to death of us by then. <laughs> might have been absolutely sick to death of me and that by the third day. Come on, I've got to get out of here. Mandy says, I'd love to see you listing in your office. You'd never get to see me list in my office, Mandy. I don't list though. I list here. I list here and then I photograph them out there. But I could film a bit of that. I could film a bit of photographing and putting stuff away, although surely that's boring, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know. Carmen says, I like watching your bullet journal videos, even though I don't do one. They are fab. Thank you. And Christine says, I inspired her to buy one. I bought Lex a journal. I bought Lex a fuck this shit journal for, what was it called? A gratitude journal for tired ass humans. They were funny. And she liked it. Mag says, dog movement behind me. I think that's a little madam going. Yeah, she's gone for a wander. Buddy's still there. Molly, where have you gone, babe? Molly, move. Move all. No. She gone. Probably downstairs pissing on something. <laughs> something to look forward to. Oh, dear. Maybe I should just sit and read this book. Can you see the title of this book? The light is so bad. How to Live a Happy Life, A Hundred Ways to a Joyful Life. And I open it and the first thing that comes up is exercise. Exercise increases endorphins and other feel-good brain chemicals, so get moving today. Every time I've exercised, I've felt shit. Research suggests that the mood benefits of just 20 minutes of exercise can last for 12 hours. That's the smugness effect, though, isn't it? It's not actually endorphins, it's just because you feel smug because you did it. Well, said Pooh, what I like best, and then he had to stop and think. Because although eating honey was a very good thing to do, there was a moment just before you began to eat it which was better than when you were, but he didn't know what it was called. Maybe I should just read Pooh again. This is not a hundred ways to be happy. It's a lot of quotes about being happy. Literally, there's not a hundred ways to be happy in here. This book is a lie. hundred ways to a joyful life is not. It's just quotes. This book is a lie. Forgive. According to a rapidly growing body of research, holding a grudge and nursing grievances can affect physical as well as mental health. So learn how to forgive. Try to let go of past hurts. Move on with compassion in your heart and your head held high. I must admit, I'm not. I don't particularly hold a grudge. If I don't like you, I don't like you. I can't make myself like you just because I feel guilty about not liking you. But I don't, I don't particularly hold a grudge. And I don't remember arguments. I've got other friends who, um, other friends who say, oh, you know, do you remember that argument? And you said this and I said that. And I'm like, no. No, I do not remember the argument. I do not remember who said what. I have forgotten it. And because we are still friends, I presume I've forgiven you. Or you have forgiven me or vice versa. No. Lainey Ray says, I googled things to do when you're bored. And one of them said, learn how to tie a tie to impress your man. <laughs> I do, however, already know how to tie a tie. So I don't know if my man in particular is out there watching. I feel it's unlikely since I don't have a man. But any man out there who is watching... Prepare to be very impressed. Are you ready? Apparently, this is how one impresses a man. So here I am, impressing men. Ready? Oh, God, hang on. Where's me? There we go. Hands up if you're impressed. 
Only if you're men. Doesn't impress women. Only men. Laney Ray's book said, uh, Laney Ray's Google search said, it impresses men. If you are a man, say I if you are impressed now. Max says, does Pooh have any reselling tips, please? I don't think he does. <laughs> Peter Ray says, wait, I. <laughs> and Death by Glamour says, that's Dave, I'm impressed. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. Jason went and Russell is, is impressed. Chris B's impressed. I've impressed all the men. Ta-da! Just by tying a tie, Laney Ray. Who knew, eh? Who knew that all you had to do to impress men was learn how to tie a tie? Is this because men can't tie their own ties? I can also tie a tie on another person, and this comes from having school children. Not that, I made that sound odd. From having children who were at school and had to wear a tie to go there. I made that sound really, really strange. Yeah, Lex says, I learned how to tie a noose to impress my man. <laughs> Make a permanent impression around the neck. <laughs> right. I suppose I should go and tidy up some of this junk. I do feel like it's junk. There was a conversation, wasn't there? The cellar ladies had um, a conversation about death piles and whether you should call them death piles and whether that was a negative connotation. And somebody had made a comment on Instagram um, I think to Andrea saying that they thought that the, the piles of shame, piles of tat and all the rest of it was a, a very negative way of looking at it. And I could see their point of view, but however, it is usually a tongue in mouth. One man's junk is another man's treasure kind of way. Look at. But today I do feel like it's all shit and I hate it all. Genuinely do. <laughs> Lady Ray says, so I need to go to places where men are and tie a tie and maybe I'd get a man. That's it, Laney May. Thailand Harris says, can you tie a bow tie? I cannot. I have never tried. I do not know how to tie a bow tie. I would like to know that. Heather says, oh, no, I'm so late. Yeah, you are a bit of love. I'm going now. <laughs> right. I'm off. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for putting up with my miserable assness. It's only the weather, really. When you wait till the summer, I'll be such a happy person. Well, Smart Selling says, if only there was an app you could point towards your death pile and see how much value was in it. Ka-ching! <laughs> oh dear Cara says it's just unlisted stuff to me that mocks me with its presence thank you for watching 105 people if you've enjoyed whatever the hell this was hit the likey likey button and um, and it's been lovely talking to you all and I'll be here next Sunday and I might be here in the middle of the week with some other stuff I don't know Natalie and I at some point have got to do part 2 of the blindfold makeup thing haven't we? where she puts the makeup on me so yeah, maybe um maybe that might we might manage that this week. Have a fabulous week, everybody. I hope you find lots of wonderful tat, shame, death piles, junk, rubbish, whatever you want to call it, treasure. Find it all, flog it all, make a million pounds, and come and rescue me from all this. Because I can tie a tie, so I'm a catch. Take care, everybody. Bye. <laughs>